Germany's parliament has passed new immigration reforms that would make it easier for skilled workers to come from abroad to work. Experts say Germany has a massive shortage of skilled workers and needs hundreds of thousands more each year to fill the gaps. The new law eases the requirements workers currently need to meet to migrate to Germany. It also makes it easier for workers to bring their families and to apply for long-term residence here. Let's get more on that from Herbert Brücker from the Institute for Employment Research here in Germany. He's focused on migration and international labour studies. Now, many European countries are now competing for skilled workers. Does this law change make Germany a more attractive option? Yeah, we hope so. Um, the law uh, has several key innovations. One is, in the past, we had the obligation that your skill level has to be proved that all your degrees are similar to those in Germany. And you may circumvent that now if you have achieved a certain income threshold level. That is one major thing. And the other one is that job seekers can come to Germany via a so-called chance card point system that you can arrive to Germany and seek jobs that are improvements but I'm a bit concerned uh, that that is sufficient, that we get an additional 100 or 200 skilled workers, which we urgently need in Germany. Mm. Now, this law addresses skilled migration, but can it help humanitarian migration as well? No, I think you have to distinguish humanitarian migration and labor migration. So the focus of the law is on labor migration, and on the other hand, Germany, together with the European Union, has increased hurdles for, hurdle for humanitarian migration. But there are one or two aspects in the law which make it easier for humanitarian migrants to work in Germany, that you may also change your track if you have a certain skill level and if you perform skill jobs, you can move away from the asylum system to the regular uh, labor migration channel that is an improvement but will not alter dramatically uh, the situation for humanitarian migrants in Germany. Mm. Do you expect to see these changes um, um, having an effect on uh, the German economy uh, quickly? Um, I expect more long-lasting effects. So in the beginning I think we get an additional several 10,000 10, workers, but we need urgently several hundred thousand additional workers. And I think the law is a first step to improve the situation. And we have then to check whether the uh, goals are achieved. And if not, we need further reforms. The migration expert, Herbert Brücker, there. Thank you very much for sharing your expertise with us. Thank you so much. The W correspondent Benjamin Alvarez Gruber was at the German parliament as the vote took place. He sent us this assessment. The German government is praising this bill that passed the German parliament as one of the most modern uh, skilled work uh, bills in uh, the world. But the opposition is still casting doubt, saying that many other things still need to be addressed. They talk about the lack of digital infrastructure and also that more personnel will be needed in the consulates to take care of this influx of visa applications. There are three possibilities. What Germany is trying to do now with this possibility is to make it easier for skilled workers to come to the country. Two million jobs, that's the gap that still needs to be filled over the next years. And therefore, um, something that German Interior Minister Nancy Faeser also said while well, addressing the lawmakers is that this lag, that this shortage of skilled workers is one of the biggest breaks when it comes to economic growth in Germany. Details still need to be planned, but the biggest step now after passing uh, the, the German parliament, the Bundestag, already is over.